From bad boy chef to world-traveling television host, Anthony Bourdain has led a wild life. He was still a relatively unknown executive chef in New York at age 43 before hitting the big time. He's traveled the world hosting TV shows, won a few Emmys, and even earned a Peabody Award. But how much do we really know about the man who wrote Kitchen Confidential? Let's take a bite out of the double life of Anthony Bourdain. His Drug and Alcohol Use For most of his adult life, Bourdain has been an unashamed smoker and drinker. In his memoir, Kitchen Confidential, Adventures in the Culinary Underbelly, Bourdain explicitly discusses his prior drug use, including a major heroin addiction picked up in the kitchens of 1970s New York, which he kicked by the 80s. Hardly a decision was made without drugs. Pot, quaaludes, cocaine, LSD, psilocybin mushrooms soaked in honey and used to sweeten tea, second all, two and all, speed, codeine, and increasingly heroin, which we'd send a Spanish-speaking busboy over to Alphabet City to get. Opinionated Bourdain has issued scathing smackdowns of Paula Deen, Rachel Ray, Guy Fieri, Bobby Flay, and even Emeril Lagasse. But he's definitely aware of the irony of his position, given his current fame. I think you use the phrase naked contempt to express your whole attitude towards a lot of the things that were on food televisions. Mm -hmm. And yet you're kind of caught up now in, in the television phenomenon. Yeah, irony sucks. <laughs> <laughs> While he's stuck to his principles on some fronts, such as refusing the types of merchandising deals that have made some of his peers rich, he does know how to compromise. In an episode of No Reservations, he finally reconciled with Emeril Lagasse. Bourdain has also dished out harsh criticisms of vegetarians, at one time even calling them enemies of everything that's good and decent in the human spirit. But time, age, and probably fame have modified that view somewhat. In a 2006 interview, he explained, quote, I admire vegetarians who refuse to eat anything but vegetables in their homes or communities, but I also admire those who put aside those principles or preferences when they travel. Family and Fitness Bourdain's first wife was his high school sweetheart, Nancy Putkowski. But shortly after Kitchen Confidential shot him to fame after its publication in 2000, the marriage ended. In 2007, he married his second wife, Otavia, with whom he had a daughter that same year. After that, Bourdain focused more on his health, and now he's in better shape than ever. Otavia is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu mixed martial arts specialist and got him hooked on jiu-jitsu as a form of exercise. Bourdain even won gold participating in the IBJJF New York Spring International Open Championship in 2016 and currently holds a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Still, even though Bourdain seems to have changed his life for the better from Octavia's healthy influence, the couple reportedly split up in September of 2016 after a nine-year relationship. Mystery Meat Bourdain knew he wanted to be a chef when he was 10, and since it was his book that made him famous, his talent for both cooking and writing has been obvious for a while. But what you may not know is that Bourdain has a flair for fiction as well, having written three mystery novels before the publication of Kitchen Confidential, Bone in the Throat, Gone Bamboo, and The Bobby Gold Stories. In fact, a movie based on Bone in the Throat premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival in March 2015. Not only that, but Bourdain also wrote a historical investigation into Mary Mallon, the Irish immigrant who became known as Typhoid Mary. He also co-wrote two graphic novels called Get Jiro and a prequel called Get Jiro, Blood and Sushi, which are sort of like Chef's Table meets Kill Bill. Uh, where warring gangs of chefs slaughter each other over seemingly inconsequential points of culinary minutia. Financial success In 2014, he and his wife bought a condo in the Upper East Side of New York City for a cool $3.35 million. A pretty dramatic turnaround from his pre-Kitchen Confidential days. He explained how far he'd come in a 2016 interview with Biography. Quote, At the age of 44, I was standing in kitchens not knowing what it was like to go to sleep without being in mortal terror. I was in horrible, endless, irrevocable debt. I had no health insurance. I didn't pay my taxes. I couldn't pay my rent. It was a nightmare, but it's all been different for about 15 years. End quote. Very different indeed. With several best-selling books and popular TV shows under his belt, Bourdain has been living quite comfortably for the last decade or so. Still, his success doesn't mean he's lost sight of the true pleasures in life. We're now one of my uh, favorite places in Los Angeles, In-N-Out Burger. Yes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know what surprised you the most about Anthony Bourdain.